Welcome to my channel. My name is Anita and I am designer and maker behind yarns. In today's video I am going to show you how to do a magic ring and also an easy alternative. So one of the ways of making a magic ring would be laying the yarn over your palm just like that and then with the working yarn you go over and around your whole hand and kind of crisscross the yarn over your fingers just like so. Hold your yarn with your thumb underneath. Then take your crochet hook and go under that first piece of yarn, grabbing that other piece from the opposite side. And pull it through, twisting your hook clockwise. So just like that. Now you can let go, holding that join and the hook in place. Now just separate the working yarn from the rest of your work. And now you can grab your working yarn Pull it through that loop on your hook just like that. Now think of this as your slip knot, so this won't count as a stitch. The first stitch will do by holding onto your tail and one piece of that big loop we did. Now with your hook you want to go inside that big loop and under those two pieces of yarn and then grab the yarn from the opposite side and bring it through that big loop again. Now you have these two loops on your hook. Now you're going to yarn over again and pull through. And that's your first stitch. So go inside that big loop, grab your working yarn, pull it under, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's your second stitch. So under the yarn, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops. And that's the third stitch done. Now we'll do 6 stitches total to start the magic ring. So 4, 5, 6, 6, Now you want to get that tail out and you have this big loop here. So take your tail and start pulling on it and you'll see that loop will start to close. And now one of the ways of connecting these two sides will be going into that first stitch just like that. And then we're just going to slip stitch. Now we'll start our next row by chaining one. So for the second row, in order to achieve that flat circle, we need to start increasing. And the way we do that is into every stitch we did in the first row, we'll put two stitches. So one and two. So into each single crochet, we will put two single crochets all around. I'll do just this second row with you for the sake of this video since I'll be doing a different tutorial on how to do increases for a flat circle. So make sure you subscribe and click on that bell button to get notified when I post my tutorials. Ok, I'm finishing my second row here and I should have 12 stitches total. We won't work into this stitch here since this was our slip stitch from our previous row. And now we'll just contact with the slip stitch just like we did in our first row. Chain 1 and from here you can continue increasing by skipping one stitch every next row. So for third row you would do one slip stitch and one increase all around. Row 4, two slip stitches, one increase. Row 5, three slip stitches, one increase and so on. Now I'll show you how you can do an alternative to the magic ring. We'll start by making a slip knot. And then we are going to chain 2. Now we'll go back into that first chain we did and we'll do all of our stitches in there. So we insert our hook through this loop right here, grab the yarn and pull through. Yarn over and pull through again. And this is our first single crochet. And we will do 6 of these total, all into the same chain. So this is our third, fourth, fifth, 
and our last single crochet. You can now pull on that tail to close this loop. And now I'm going to show you how to continue crocheting this time into a spiral. So you are going to go into that first stitch yarn over, pull through and instead of slip stitching we are going to do our first stitch right away. So yarn over and pull through. And this is our first single crochet. Then into the same stitch we'll do another single crochet. And then we'll go all the way around with two single crochet into each stitch. And we should have 12 stitches total. You can always place a stitch marker into that first stitch not to lose the count of stitches. But as I said before, I'll do a separate video on this, so I'll cover all of these things in more detail. So this is my second row done. And then, just as we said previously, the rest of the rows you continue increasing by skipping one stitch every next row. But this time we just crochet in a spiral. Write in the comments how do you make your magic ring? Do you use any of these techniques? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.